Hi, in this video, I will show you how to make a candy cane mouse. If you picked up one of the kits at the library, uh, you have a baggie with everything that's needed to make this, including the list of materials, as well as the pattern to cut out the body and the ears. If you did not get this kit, uh, just drop us a note and we will send you a sheet with everything that's needed for this project. So let's get started with our little friend. Um, here's what we need. Uh, first of all, the sheet with the list of materials needed and more importantly, the patterns. If you don't have the sheet, uh, let us know and we'll get one for you. Uh, the patterns are very easy to draw. Uh, this is basically a teardrop and that's for the body and uh, this is for the ears. It looks a little bit like a, like a bone almost. Uh, so these are easy to, uh, to copy. We also need a couple of pieces of felt gray and red. This can be found in any craft stores like uh, Joanne's Fabric or uh, Michael's. Uh, you'll need a candy cane. I have a few paper clips. I'll explain later why I use those. A couple of uh, googly eyes and also a couple of small buttons it's up to you whether you want to use the googly eyes or the buttons for, for the eyes. Uh, so just, just different options. And of course, a pair of scissors. Uh, so let's get started. We'll need to start with cutting out the patterns. Um, you can either transfer these patterns on the felt by using something like carbon paper, or you can cut them out and draw the outline, or I will show you how I do it, which is even easier. So I'll start by cutting out the patterns. So this is the one for the ears and the body. So now using the pattern, we're going to cut out the body and the ears. Uh, now, as I explained, as I said earlier, you can trace the pattern onto the felt or you can pin the, again, the patterns to the felt, or I'm going to show you an easy, even easier way. I use paper clips and I clip pattern to the felt. And I will just cut around the shape. This is the fastest, the easiest way to do this. It really doesn't require anything, any skills. I 
once I'm done with one side, I move the paper clips around a little bit. Just make sure everything is aligned, is lined up. And now I can continue. And voila. So here's the body of our friend. Uh, there's some additional lines here on the pattern. I'll show you what they're used for. They will be slits made, cuts made along these lines so that we can, can fit the candy cane through the body and then in the back behind the ears. So what I do here to make these cuts, again, I fit the pattern over the body. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I fold this in half and cut, cut along the lines. And the cuts can be a little longer than the lines shown on the pattern. And I do the same thing for the ears. I fold it in half. I cut along the lines. And it is just as simple as that. You'll find once you start fitting your pieces together, if these slits are too short you can always go cut in put in your scissors and then cut them cut them just a little longer just like that i'll do the same thing for the ears first i fit my paper clips I guess two will just be enough. Let's start my cutout. There's too much material hanging on here. I just cut it off. So this makes it a little easier to work. Move my paper clips. See, I'm already half done here. All right, now again, these patterns can be changed. You can make your own design, make your ears more pointy, more elegated, rounded. It's, uh, this is just, just one way of doing it. Okay, so now let's get to the next part where we're gonna fit the ears to the body. So what we're going to do here is roll the ears and then we're going to pass them through these two slots here and just make sure that they're long enough. If they're not long enough, you can always cut them a little longer. So 
So we're going to pull this side out. Around the ears a little bit. Shape them in which way you like. And so here are our ears. So the next step now will be to attach the eyes and the little whiskers. I'm going to use just a little dab of Elmer's glue, just regular glue. Or uh, instead of googly eyes, as I said, instead of googly eyes, you can use um, just the button. Now these are plastic and there's a lot of static electricity so they have a tendency to cling to your fingers so you can either use googly eyes or little button eyes so either way they're both cute i think so i'm going to use just a little dab of elmer's glue So here's one eye. The other eye. And now our friend can see what's going on around here. Next step will be the whiskers. I cut a length of about uh, 12 inches of uh, thread. I'm going to thread the needle, which will be a bit of a challenge for me. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to make about three loops through the nose here. So I'm going to go down and up the other side. Let's hope the, this is just about centered. Okay, I'm going to leave the end pretty loose. I'm going to go in a second time. Again, I'll leave this pretty loose and a, a third time. All right, so I have three loops here. So using my scissors, I'm going to just cut the length of the whiskers. Trim them one side, the other side, and here are our whiskers. So what I do is to prevent them from being pulled off, I'm going to put just a little dab of glue on the back side here, just so that the thread doesn't come undone. Just like that, and that will be enough. All right, so now our last step, final step, is the candy cane, just to finish our mouse, to give it its tail. So we start from the back, go down through the first slot, come back up through the second. We push this down. And now the other end will be held by the back of the ears. <clears throat> so as we push the ears through these two slots, form the little loop here. So we're pushing the candy cane through the loop. There. 
push through. And there we go. And here is Mr. Mouse. So we can reshape the ears. This is pretty easy to do. And voila, here's our mouse. Isn't it cute? All right, so you can go play with your little friend now, okay? All right. Say bye.